Okay darlings and in this video I'm going to talk you through the angled eyelash brush that we sell at Hello Dame London and I've designed this eyelash brush especially for women who wear false eyelashes but struggle with that bit when you've got your hands up here and your fingers in your eyes and your elbows up and you know it just gets quite stressy and quite difficult. So this brush is specifically designed to get all that stressiness out. You just dab it along your eyelash line and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply and use it. So we're going to be following the Hello Dame method and whenever you buy a pair of lashes from Hello Dame, you get a card which shows you by infographic and by words exactly the process to follow or you can watch any of my YouTube videos or any videos on the site to help you on your journey. And today, I'm going to be using the Lash Lovers Freya and for each pack that I sell to you I donate a portion of sales to the Pink Ribbon Foundation which is to help women who have suffered or are suffering from breast cancer. So there's no doubt about it when women first try false eyelashes you get them home you open the box and the first thing you want to do is just chuck them on your eyes because you're excited and I totally get that. However I really do encourage you to follow the Helladay method and I've created this method specifically to get rid of that point of frustration because the point of frustration is when you're gonna give up and you're just gonna think these stupid eyelashes don't work, they don't stick, they don't sit right in my eyes. Um, they do work, but there is a kind of methodology to them. Once you've practiced them a few times, you'll become a lash ninja, you'll just put them straight on, on top of your makeup, absolutely no problems. But the first couple of times, I really encourage you to just learn each step so that you're confident and you're happy. It's always to practice on the inside of your wrist is so you can understand how the glue works, how the lash sticks to the skin. And most importantly, if you have any allergic reactions, it's a really good place to decide whether you've got an allergy to the adhesion on the inside of your wrist because the skin there is really soft rather than your eyes because I'd hate for your eyes to blow up if you had a, well not literally blow up, but you know what I mean, become really soft swollen and horrible because you've had a reaction to the glue. So always practice on the inside of your wrist first. I would say give your eyelashes a curl and we do sell a box of tools at Hello Dame London which include eyelash curlers. And this helps your false lash sit on your eyelash and it also allows you to see where your eyelashes actually are. Particularly if you've got really pale lashes or very sparse lashes or anything like that. So just give them a really good curl upwards because it does make a difference. I normally apply just a very fine layer of mascara. Any mascara will do. You don't have to use a particular brand. And I tend now to wear dark brown mascara. I don't find it so dark and heavy around my eyes. And because my eyelashes are thinning, um, I found that wearing black makes my eyelashes look even thinner and more spidery. So I'm uh, really favoring dark brown at the moment. You're going to take your tweezers and you can very gently pull the lashes out of the box. You pull the lash out that way. Sometimes if you tug them from the outside edges, it kind of distorts the lash and it makes bend and stretch unnecessarily. So take the lash on the middle there and pull it out of the box. So once you've got your lash, you're going to hold it up against your eye like this. So you're gonna hold it right up against your eye and you're going to see if you need to trim it. Now most lashes, if I just place that up here, you see are much longer than they need to be. And personally, I don't like that lash coming down the center of my eye here. I just find it really icky. I don't like having glue there. So I always trim my false lashes to match my natural lashes. So I would trim the lash from about here where my normal lash starts and then to the outer edge there. So I wouldn't wear a full lash because if you look right into my eyes, you see I don't have lashes really from that center point there to the midpoint of my pupil. And to kind of put false lashes, I just think for an older woman does look a bit odd. So holding it against my eye, make sure I don't poke my eye out with the scissors. I would hold the lash and I trim sort of, because I want the 
skinny bit of the lash there to be from the inside and then them to go longer outside. So this is the thing with lashes. You do have to slightly play around with them if they haven't been cut to size for you. So I'm just gonna trim that down. And again, using my fingers, I haven't got any glue at this stage. I'm just gonna make sure that that is roughly the size I want it to be, which it is. What you can do is once you've got the adhesion out of the box, you just wanna press it against the box here just to make sure that that liner is coming out and I can see it's nice and wet and I know that the liner is coming out because this is clear you won't always see the liner on the clear band of the lash so I'm going to hold the lash in the tweezers and I'm going to apply the glue to the top of the lash band making sure I get lots of glue on that lash band particularly on that top edge now here's the most important thing, let the liner go tacky and this is why your lashes won't work. If you rush this stage, I promise you, it doesn't matter what else you do, your lashes won't work. If you apply wet glue to your eyes, it can't form the bond and then the lashes don't sit properly and the corners ping up and then you're just going to think they're rubbish and they don't work. Letting the liner go tacky means like counting to 30, 20 if you're, you know, really can't stand waiting. I would count to about 30 so I'm going to do that now. Now that it's waiting to go tacky I'm going to give it a bend just to make the band a bit more pliable. So we're going to pop the lash on because we want the lash to stick to the skin. That's the most important bit and you can if you want to just use the brush to just press your eyelid down onto band. So I'm just using the brush just to press my eyelid down, just that skin there to make sure that, that bond is really secure and tight. Nothing sharp and nasty, you know, it's all super gentle, being really kind to our eyes. And can you see that lash there is now beautifully in place. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to pull the lash out from the center just because it's kinder to the lash. I'm then going to hold up the lash, measure it and trim it. And I need to take that much off that end. There we go. And then I'm going to hold the lash this side just to make sure it fits. So holding the lash there, I'm going to rub liner onto that band. And if you're not keen on this particular type of nib. Hello Dame, we do a clear liner with a really soft nib. So that's a personal choice. Some people like the harder nib, other ladies like the soft nib. So that's completely up to you. Be count to 30, let the liner go tacky. Don't rush this stage. It's really tempting. And if your lashes aren't sticking, it's because you've rushed this bit. So just wait. Holding on to the very edge of the lash, place it up against my eye. It doesn't sit perfectly first time. When you put it right up against your eye, it doesn't kind of magically just ping into place. And then using this angled brush, which Boy, does it make it easier to then just make sure that that lash is sitting right where it should. There's nothing pointy or hard or, you know, tweezers are very unforgiving. So this angled brush, you know, I haven't got to get my hands in this way. I can have my hands down in the normal angle that they would be in and I can just press that lash into place what I want to do is create this really secure, strong bond with a lash to my eyelid and this brush very gently lets you do that. And we want to be kind to our eyes. Our eyes are so important. And the thought of having anything pointy near my eyeballs really makes me quite nervous. So I'm happy with those. Very happy with my angled eyelash brush. Always make sure you put the lids back on everything, whatever type of liner you're using, just put the lids back on. And then I might just finish off with another small layer of mascara just to put underneath the lash here so I'm kind of joining the two I'm gonna let that dry and then you can get your fingers if you want to and you could just very gently just make sure there's no gapping between your false lash and your natural lash there we have it that is the hello dame angled eyelash brush specifically designed to help you press your lashes to the skin to create that secure bond. Once you know that those lashes are stuck into place, you're not gonna feel frustrated with them. You're not gonna chuck them in the bin because you don't think they work. So if I can tell you two things, let the liner go tacky, be patient and use a brush. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you found that video useful. Do take a browse around the site, watch some more videos on YouTube to help you on your lash journey.